Hi, welcome to the Quantity Surveying Studio, a digital platform for the entire Quantity Surveying fraternity. Thanks a lot for the support being shown for this channel. So if you are from the Quantity Surveying field and if you are not yet subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe for Quantity Surveying related contents. Do share it with your friends, colleagues and anyone who is interested in this field. So this video is going to be a bit of technical thing and it's related to MEP. We'll be looking into two common types of smog detectors, how they differ in their working principle. So that will be dealt with in this video. So what is a smog detector? You must have seen in your houses, in different buildings, in malls, shops, commercial buildings, your offices, something like this. This is a smog detector. So it's basically a fire protection device that automatically detects and gives a warning of the presence of smog. So if a fire happens, definitely smoke will come out of it. And this device will sense that smoke and give a warning that something is wrong. So definitely the, a smoke will happen only if a fire comes. The building services team, the facility management team can do the required to shut off that fire. And lives can be saved the property can be saved these are the main two types of smoke detectors that are being used one is the ionization smoke detector and the one the second one is the photoelectric smoke detector so let's look into the working principle of both this is a small diagram of a ionization type of smoke detector if you see here there are different steps and the explanation of different steps so let's understand each step. So this is the first step. If we go through it, inside the smoke alarm, there are two tiny metal plates called electrodes that are connected to a battery. This is called a circuit. These are the two metal plates, electrodes, and it is connected to this battery. This entire loop forms a circuit. So this is the first step. So this is how a ionization type of smoke detector is built and to see the next step this is pointing out the next step so let's understand there is also a substance called americium 241 and it converts air molecules into positive and negative ions because opposites attract the negative ions move towards the positive plate and the positive ions move towards the negative plate this movement creates a complete circuit or path for electricity so there will be a substance called americium 241 inside and this will convert these air molecules into negative and positive ions. So these green are the negative ions and these are the positive ions. Since opposite attracts, this negative will go and attract to this positive plate and this positive will attract to this negative plate. And that is how the circuit is being formed and current will start flowing to the circuit. This is a, you can say an ammeter which measures the current. So a current is being measured. This is the basic working principle in the normal condition. When no smoke happens, this is the inside uh, working principle going on inside that smoke detector. So now let's see in step three, when the fire happens. This is a diagram of the fire being happening and the smoke is coming and the it is going inside the detector. So the third step, when smoke enters the smoke alarm, the ions bond with the smoke, breaking the path of electricity. When the smoke goes inside, so all this path will be broken and these ions will move out. And this will cause that, that complete circuit to break and see if you see the measurement of current. When the flow of electricity is reduced, the alarm goes off. Flow of electricity is reduced, so then the alarm will go off. So this is the basic principle of an ionization type of smoke detector so hope it is clear now let's look into the photoelectric type so here this is the basic diagram of a photoelectric type the so first step inside the smoke alarm there is an led light that sends a beam of light similar to a laser pointer in a straight line across the chamber and in a separate compartment inside the chamber there is a photo sensor that detects light this is that led source and the light straight light of straight light is being emitted and in another compartment there is a light sensor this is the basic structure of a photoelectric type smoke alarm 
Now let's see second step. Here smoke is coming. As smoke enters the detector, the smoke particles interrupt the light beam, scattering it in many directions. Some of the LED light scatters towards the light sensor. When light beams hit the sensor, sensor the alarm will go off when the fire breaks the smoke goes and there might be small particles inside that smoke this will cause this straight line of emission to break and some light will fall into the sensor and when it falls into the sensor the alarm will go off now let's understand the third step when the batteries in your smoke alarm gets low the smoke alarm automatically activates a low battery chirping sound different from the alarm sound so you know it's time to get new battery so this works on battery again when all this happens it is consuming battery so other than this alarm sound when the battery is low also there is another sound that comes off and this is a reminder that the battery need to be replaced the battery can be replaced by the concerned technicians and so again it will start working normally this is a basic principle of a photoelectric type smoke detector and here if you see some alarm contains both optical and ionization smoke detection system so some there will be a combination of these both in some types of alarms the basic principle is this this is the basic principle of both these types of alarm hope this small video a technical video was important was useful you can you know if you are asked in the interview you can easily explain the difference and how it works as a quantity surveyor it is really important because when you do the quantification you might come across these two terms so you need to differentiate to the quantity take of both of these separately so you need to understand why you are doing it separately so this is the basic understanding the prices of these will also be different so thanks a lot for watching this video take care bye